buy the paint, buy the glue, get a good sharp X-Acto blade, and have some fun. We've got 169 models registered in all different classes. Well, the classes will range from uh, science fiction to uh, military uh, uh, armor, aircraft, civilian aircraft, ships, just about anything that can be modeled you'll find out there. Modeling really is a, a very solitary hobby. So when you get a chance to talk with other folks that do the same thing you do, and we learn from each other. Well, there's a lot of patience and it's kind of mind-blowing. Uh, there's some things that, uh, it's just attention to detail. And some people just, like the kids, love to just get the darn thing together and play with them. But as you get older, you figure out different things to do, how to, how to overcome problems. It requires planning, uh, requires patience, and some time if you're lucky. I tell you, most people start as kids. I started as a kid and probably modeled into the time I went into high school. And when you get into high school, things change. People meet, guys meet girls, they get cars, they get out of high school, they go to college, or they go to work, and they have a family, and then all of a sudden, uh, you get a little, maybe a little time and say, gee, I used to model, maybe I should try that again. Uh, I myself, uh, I build ships, mostly from the historic point of view. It's got to say something to me. Uh, so uh, I'll look at a, at a piece of armor. It's just not a plastic thing. It's where was this thing made? Where did it fight? Who, who, uh, who were the participants in a particular squadron of an aircraft? Well, uh, to me, history is uh, if you don't know where you've been, how do you know how to get to where you're going? And modeling is, is one way never to forget the, that history. It's not just a thing that you're modeling. It's a piece of somebody's past. The model, model uh, club that I belong to, the Pearson Model Ears, uh, our motto is, uh, this is my hobby, I do it for fun. And that's what it's all about.